What does a panopticon, a whistleblower, and Other Days, Other Eyes by Bob Shaw in 1972 have to do with each other? Let's start with the panopticon. Jeremy Bentham was a philosopher and a social theorist in the 18th century. He posited that a prison could be controlled with a certain design. If you made the prison into a circle with a tower in the middle, guards in that tower could theoretically see all prisoners at all time. The prisoners didn't know at any time whether the guards were watching them. This compelled prisoners to self-regulation. Here we can see a design for a prison. And in Cuba, there actually were prisons built this way. This design was called the panopticon. Not only could this design be used in a prison, it could also be used in a hospital, school, or sanatorium. The whistleblower is Edward Joseph Snowden. In 2013, he was working as an employee and subcontractor for the NSA, the National Security Agency of the United States. He released documents to a journalist showing that the NSA was conducting illegal global surveillance, using cell phone companies and providers to track anybody in the world. Not only track them, but be able to see their screens and hear what they were saying. The documentary Citizen 4 by Laura Poitras details his release of these documents to journalist Glenn Greenwald. It won the Academy Award for Best Documentary. Then in 2016, it was made into a biographical Hollywood thriller called Snowden. It was directed by Oliver Stone and starred Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Edward Snowden. So we first have the panopticon, Big Brother is watching. And then we find out that the NSA is Big Brother to the whole world. What has that got to do with Other Days, Other Eyes by Bob Shaw? Well, let's talk a little bit about the story. In the August 1966 Analog magazine, Bob Shaw's story, The Light of Other Days, was printed. This story became his most famous short story. Bob Shaw used this story and two others to make a fix-up novel called Other Days, Other Eyes. This was a very different fix-up novel. There was a framework throughout this novel where we had an ongoing story. The stories were fit in as Sidelight 1, Sidelight 2, and Sidelight 3. So, for example, on page 26, we have Sidelight 1, Light of Other Days. So, what is the novum or idea or concept that is primary in this novel? It's something called Slow Glass, or its corporate name, Retardite. The crystalline structure of this slow glass is so dense that it takes extra time for light to pass through it. At first, they have glass that has a half second to a second delay, but they learn how to extend this so that it can go up to years before it yields the light that has entered in from the other side. How can this technology be used? That's one of the main questions of this novel. The ingenuity and ideas grow and grow until we come to an end that is unfathomable. One way to use this product is to set it up in scenic areas and let it record the light coming in for years. Once it starts to emit that light on the other side, you sell that piece of glass to people so that they can have a live window of the scenic area in their homes. You could live in a windowless basement, but if you put up this window, you could see that scenic sight. The first sidelight story is Light of Other Days from August of 1966. It is a beautiful story of a farm that has glass facing a scenic meadow. This glass is recording the sights of that meadow. And when the glass will start to return those sights, then it will be sold to people. But as we know, light in windows doesn't just go through one way, it goes through another. And we have a very poignant story of a farmer stuck in the past of what the window is showing him. As scene does, scene and window, start to show up in the city, all of a sudden, law enforcement realizes that this could be a boon for them. There's a story of someone who is convicted of murder, but there is a scene doe that has seen this murder, only the light won't come out for another five years. Five years later, the press, the lawyers, 
and the judge are waiting to see if the right sentence was executed. And I mean executed because the criminal was executed. As slow glass becomes more and more prevalent, the next step is to see if you can unleash that which is recorded in the slow glass on your own time, at your own pace. Could law enforcement access, before it would normally be released, the information that is in the dense, slow glass? I think you can see now how the implications of this technology is starting to align with the Panopticon or the NSA. Slow glass is not a camera. It sees all the light. So if you had a piece of slow glass in space, it would see all the light that it's looking at. To what microscopic detail could it see something on Earth? Or could tiny pinpricks of glass be embedded in walls, on people, anywhere? All of a sudden, the world is a panopticon. And there's a story surrounding this development of slow glass over the years. The inventor and patent holder has a wife, and their relationship is detailed through this book. At first, she was the rich wife and supported his research. But now, with slow glass, he is the rich husband, without need of her money. The dynamics of their relationship change, and she experiences a tragedy. It's a tragedy which slow glass can affect. Bob Shaw seems to never be at an end of ideas and implications for this slow glass. This twisting technological tale has many surprises, not only in the technology, but in the developments in the lives of the people. This is a classic work of science fiction, but you may have never heard of it. One of the reasons is that it hasn't been printed in English since 1978. This was a reread for me. Before I found this copy, I actually read it online. The Internet Archive is a non-profit library of millions of free books, movies, software, music, websites, and more. You can find it at archive.org. So if you go into here and search for Other Days, Other Eyes, you'll find the book. And you'll be able to borrow this book. This review is also one of my Upon Further Reviews, because I did review this one earlier in the channel's history. I can confirm and uphold the 9 out of 10 rating. Highly recommended. So if you're interested, I really hope you can find a way to get your hands on a copy or to read it online. Now you might still be asking, why isn't this in print? I would love to see this as one of the SF masterworks, along with other Bob Shaw books. If any of Bob Shaw's family or rights holders are watching this, I ask that you work things out. We, the fans, would love to see his work in print again. So what do you think about Slow Glass, Panopticons, and Big Brother? Have you read Other Days, Other Eyes? How about other Shaw books? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep reading.